fuck. I said I wasn't going to make this a controversial fucking episode. Damn it. Oh, well. (laughs) We're here now. So that that I love the uh, that I, I, I I'm sorry, but <laughs> probably would have. The craft was my shit. <laughs> I just was born. I just was Was it? When did Charm come out? I'm not. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm not gonna look it up. I really don't care that much. Um, I am Cornelio. Must need TP for my bunker. Dermot Bobby. I don't care. I don't care. I fuck with Rograis. The fuck? If you paid attention to the, to the, um, that's nasty. Motherfucker, step by step, step by step, day by day by day. Is on that bitch, hey, but it's fine ass. I don't give a fuck. That nigga fine as hell. Fine as I. And a lot of shows were doing that. Like on the Cosby Show, they had um, Lisa Benet. You you expect me to believe that Lisa Benet is supposed to? Okay. Mama looked like me. Daddy looked like me, and y'all popped out of Lisa Benet. All right. Black and white or interracial, interracial, interracial. Can I speak? Let me shut the fuck up because all of that was just unnecessary. Anyway. If I'm a man and you hit me like I'm a man, I'm going to hit you back because it feels like you feel like you a man too. So if you feel like a man, I'm a, that's cool. I'm going to respect the fuck out your pronouns and I'm going to beat the fuck out of you like you's a man. Because like that's how it was back then. Nowadays, you can't even say shit like that no more. But whatever. It's fucking sensitive, man. It was about a bunch of rich folks and then they nanny. And the, the woman is just head over heels in love with the dude that run the house that employs her and he don't want to have shit to do with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just screamed, pick me. You punch me below the belt, I'll put you in the front, but you know? Boo, boo, we don't like that show. I don't know why. I Honestly, I feel like, I feel like Holly Robinson P, even though she's unproblematic as fuck, I feel like she just rubs me the wrong way. I just, I don't like her face. I don't like her face. I don't like the way she looks. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. I, I really wish that I could explain that to you a little bit better, but I don't, I can't. So the best that I can do is let you know, I don't like how she looks. I don't like her face. I don't like her face. I don't like her hair. I don't like her, her spirit. I just don't. This is something about Holly Robinson Pete that just rubbed me the wrong fucking way. I don't like her. Boo, seventh heaven, boo, seventh heaven. What the fucking stupid show? Dawson's Creek. Man, fuck that show. Well, I really don't know what the fuck to call this, to be honest with you. Um, maybe next time I could, you know, I was thinking about, I was thinking about instead of TV shows, I was gonna do books. But then I was like, nah, cause like my favorite, I could do like top five of things. With, I need a new chair. Here go my cash app so I can get a new chair. Please. I really need a new chair. I don't know. Can you hear that? Here got my cash app. 
but in my top three of books, favorite books, like ever, ever, is 1984. And it always will be 1984. But then I started thinking, well, fuck, do I really want to go into that? Because they've been in that book. Dead ass. And I'm like, don't, <laughs> don't give in to the book. Like, let this be a fantasy for us, please. Don't like follow the script. What are you doing? Cause it's like, it's like, okay, if you've never read the book before, um, and I'm not gonna like go into the whole thing, but like basically it's a dystopian, like future world, right? They fix it to where it's like, yeah, make the people think that we're fighting against each other. Like these three powers are fighting against each other. But it's like, not, like they're not actually against each other. They're all working with each other because as long as everybody thinks that, oh, I'm fighting with you and now I'm fighting with you and now we beefing again, but now we cool. Oh shit, y'all cool now? Y'all both getting, getting it up on me. Like, as long as we keep thinking that, oh, the, the trouble is over here, now it's over here, now it's over here, now it's over here, we won't see what the actual trouble is. And it's a damn good book. It's a fascinating book. A lot of people freak out reading that book because it's like, I feel like George Orwell, I don't think that he was like a psychic or anything, but I think he understood economics. And so he may not have predicted 1984, but he's damn sure, a lot of people feel like he's damn sure predicting the future. And it's just like, I don't think he's pre he was predicting it. I think he just had a, a grasp on where shit was heading. And so I feel like the book 1984, everybody's so scared of it because we're always like kind of on that brink, right? So like right now, everybody's freaking out over Fed now because it's the, the CBDC, the Central Bank Digital Currency. So basically like Fed now is like, they're, they're saying, oh no, you can keep your bank account, but you just link your bank account to this Fed now shit. But eventually your account will be with the Federal Reserve and through this fed now system and they'll be able to you know shut your shit off whenever the fuck they feel like it a lot of people are like oh that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen but we see it happening right here right now if you say some shit that they don't fucking like or whoever the fuck they is girl i don't fucking know but if you ever say some shit that they don't fucking like okay paypal can cut you the fuck off they done snap, they sniped that uh, homeboy that ran cash at. <laughs> so, I mean, like they cleaning house right now. And so a lot of people are freaking out about that. But really we've always kind of been on the brink of this kind of uh, fear. So before Fed now, it was the, the chip. It was the tap to pay. It was the tap to pay on your card. You know, you just go, I ain't got no card on me, but you know, you just go in and you tap your card and then it pays for it. Or you could do that with your phone before that. Whenever that started happening, people were like, hell nah, I'm going to stick with the little chip that's in my card. Well, do you remember when the chips started coming out? <laughs> it's just kind of like, okay, people were freaking out that they were putting chips in people's credit cards. Before that, it was credit cards itself. That wasn't even a thing. Before that, it was checks. They was freaking out over checks. Oh, they got the check numbers on there and everything. They gonna know which way you going. They gonna know all your moves. And so we've always been on kind of like this, uh, the brink of anxiety when it comes to, to currency and how we, we go about spending it, especially here in America since 1984 it came out. Also, um, in the book, it talks about like there's this, if you have like a, a, a thought, um, a thought crime, which is basically if you even rem try to remember how shit used to be, then, you know, it's because like the, it starts off your, per the protagonist 
is older and he remembers back before when all of this had happened. So like, if you try remembering or whatever, the thought police will come and get you. So they try, they tell you all of this misleading stuff. So that way you can be more, more susceptible to other shit that don't make no fucking sense. So one of the things that they do is try and try to convince you that two plus two can equal four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all at the same time. Right? And they'll be like, what's two plus two? It can, it's five, it's eight, it's nine, it's 1100. <laughs> like that's what they try to do. So like, that's what they did in the book. So when Common Core Math came out, a lot of parents were freaking the fuck out. This is why those, the parents that were freaking the fuck out read 1984. And so now they did away with the Common Core Math, kind of, but now, now we're having our children being indoctrinated to think that certain things that are supposed to make sense don't make sense. And the shit that don't make sense, it does make sense. Like, you got the whole ass anatomy of one thing, but that's not real, it's a construct. So, you can, all right. <laughs> And then for the, like the protagonist, he ended up having to go to room 101. Room 101 is just like basically where they torture you. They torture you until you fall in line. If you don't fall in line, you're just gonna keep on getting tortured over and over and over and over and over again. Dude had a thing with rats. So they put this fucking cage with a bunch of rats in his face. And like with two doors open, he'd be like, they'd be like, tell us the shit. And he'd be like, fuck y'all. And he'd be like, do And the rest would come closer to his face. He'd be like, uh, <laughs> go do this to the other bitch. Like there was another chick involved as a whole. Anyway, um, room 101 is basically where you go to get tortured. Room 101 is just really interesting to me because All right, so like, current example. So that was weird. As soon as I said uh, a famous person's name, the camera glitched out and a bunch of weird shit happened. So I'm not going to say the name because quite frankly, I'm, I'm a little scared, but kind of like how certain celebrities will do certain things, um, expose certain people, whether it gets to our ears or not, you know, we always end up finding out later on. And then that celebrity ends up going away for a while and they may come back, they may come back. And, and when they come back, they're very different. Like, I won't say any names, but do you remember how once upon a time somebody kind of lo lost their minds and now that same person just got their very first um, Hollywood star? And you know how like or there are certain celebrities who might um, know certain things and then all of a sudden you hear words that you've never heard before, like conservatorship. <laughs> it's funny cause sometimes, sometimes <laughs> I get nervous <laughs> on airplanes. A lot of people seem to think that the answer to 1984 is the book of Job. 
And if you don't know the book of Job in the Bible, Job was a really rich guy, but he was also super, super loyal to God. And God was like, hmm, I wonder if you're only loyal to me because of what of your earthly possessions. So I don't know, God and the devil team up and make a scheme <laughs> for the devil to tempt uh, Job and all of his earthly possessions stripped away. He's going through all of this fucking terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. His Baha is not blessing at all, but he keeps his faith in God. And so he's all like, yeah, I still love God or whatever. Here's the thing, um, because it's all about, you know, lean into not lean not into your own understanding or whatever. Listen, I'm sorry, but anybody that tells me that I can't eat from a particular tree because it contains knowledge and not to lean onto my own understanding, I'm sorry, I don't trust that. <laughs> because Alchem's razor, like, so I'm not saying that you have to understand everything. I'm just saying if you're going to die for something, then you should probably, I don't know, understand it a little bit. Uh, I know that the Bible likes to go on about how like we're children and we don't understand things, but if we were made in his image, then mm, you see the contradictory there. Fuck, I said I wasn't going to make this a controversial fucking episode. Damn it. Oh, well. <laughs> we're here now. Anyway, I am cutting it dangerously close to getting on yet another watch list or I'm probably shadow banned. I don't really fucking know. But anyway, that's it. That's all I have to say today. Listen, if you want to check out some other silly ass videos, here's some shit over there. Bye. I really wish I could whistle. <laughs> what happened? I was doing it. I'm glad I got that on camera because I fucking did it and you saw it.